Hi YouTube, my name is Shirley, and what I was just going to say is today we are going to talk about parakeets and parrots. Now, parrots are much more calmer than parakeets sometimes. Um, I know my, par my parrot was so much calmer than my two parakeets on my shoulder. These are my six birds. Um, I had uh, four, par four parrots before, and these are my two other ones, so that's the sixth one. And um, today I'm just going to talk how to treat your bird when it first comes home the first day from a pet shop. Um, in a pet shop there was a lot of birds that they already know, maybe family or something. And then when they go to a new home, you know, they're always nervous. And that's not a good thing. So you want your parrot and your boogie or your parakeet to have a good behavior and to have a lot of fun with your kids and family. That's normal. Um, you make sure the first day you come home, um, you want to leave your parrot there for at least two or three days by itself with the toys, food, or water. Now, if you start go, if you go straight to the cage and say, "Oh, can I hold my bird the first time?" They get really, really nervous. You first have to let them get used to your home. After you do that, after a couple of days, you can, you can start start with, "Come up, my finger, come up, my finger." You can also start by um getting them to talk to you with any kind of ways. You can say, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Or say hello? Can you say hello? Um, but that's exactly really important. If you want to keep that up, that birds talk to you. Even parakeets or boogies can talk to you, not only parrots. That's what a lot of people think, and that's not true. And after, if you want to keep that up a lot with your uh, parakeet or boogie, you should really do that a lot of hours every single day. You say hi, hi, hi a million times a day for at least two or three weeks. Keep it up. If you can't keep up, your bird is never going to learn. You cannot expect to say in one day, can you say hi to me? Can you say hi? It's not going to. You have to train. Keep it up. Keep training. Do everything you can to try to get your parrot or your parakeet to to come to you to be fed, to be a part of your family and not only a pet. A parakeet, a boogie, and a parrot could be so much fun. They love to talk. They love to play. They also love to take baths with you. I know my last parrot always took a bath bath with me. She loved bubbles, a lot of bubbles. So that is a really good thing. Now, um. A lot of people just have parakeets because they want them as a pet. You you can you can sure treat them like just your family. They don't have to be just normal pets. Uh, my parakeets they always come to the table and they come eat with us. Um, some people leave them in the cage all day. Don't talk to them. Don't don't expect your parrot to to get used to you if you don't play with them or even just hold them on your shoulder. Hold them on the shoulder, they get convinced, they get used to you, they get relaxed and not just a hyper bird if you try to hold it on your hand and it flies away. That's exactly what happened to my brother's bird. It was always a mini pie and stuff. And um yeah, it got uh, it got really um mean. My brother never holded it. Um so yeah, he flew away. He was bit my brother too. See, no interacting with your birds could be really terrible. And right now, my parakeets are talking to me, which is actually really funny. Can say hi? Say to the pair. Can say hi? Thank you. She says always hi, and she even brushes her teeth in the morning and the evening with me. So that's a good thing. If you want your birds to do this, keep it up. Don't give up. It's not going to come in a week or, or two days. You have to keep it up. Okay? Thank you so much for listening to my podcast.